And then the audience will realize that you went back in time, but they won't realize that I'm going back in time 20 years later, which is an entirely different time to go back in time. And that's why the book is revolutionary, because nobody's ever done a time travel story where there's been multiple different time travels intersecting at the same point from the same reality, but at different times in the timeline. Whoa, 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 whoa. How old? Okay, so like six years ago, we played Monster Hunter World. But you're t you're going back from now, which is six years. So you're going back six years, and then 20 years after this, I go back to meet you there. But why would you be old? Because uh, 20 years is a long time. But I thought you were eternal. Yeah, but I can still look old if I want to. Wait, so you won't be really old? You'll just look old. Well, old is a state of, of, of mind, really. The, the glowing pink veins? Oh, right, that's because I've, I I became the commander eventually, so I had to think a lot. See, I just, I, don't, I think you're pushing belief a bit. Time travel is one thing, but I don't think you would ever be the commander. I mean, what happened to, to Mr. to Mr. to Mr. Leader? He's the leader, he's the commander of Seliana, but there's this whole new place. That's what I'm telling you about. We go to another place, like, a, a couple of years from now, and then I become the commander of there. That sounds a bit wild. I'm sorry, do you understand that that's a joke? I'm not sure. <laughs> I laugh sometimes. I don't anymore. It's been 20... Wait, no, that's my book. Oh, I, I get in character sometimes. You know how it is. Oh, you know, you're real, real rhetoric writer, right? I do write rhetoric. Okay, good. That's that's method writing. That is a method of writing. You're correct. Okay, what me with what method do you plan on writing this? Um, feather and scroll. That must be some tiny words drawn very carefully. Um, Arabic, but in cursive. <laughs> that just sounds like impossible, but harder. <laughs> anyway, you want to get blasted? Oh, is it party time? Yeah! Welcome to the blasted void. What happened to the alcohol? Laser beam. I don't remember that part. We never thought the laser beams would gain sentience, but we pushed the boundaries, and now they're self-aware laser beams. And they're taking over society? Yes, quite quickly, actually, because they're laser beams. And so they're killing everyone they don't like. Like classic dirty laser beams. What if we had mirrors? Damn it, why did nobody think about that? And then you can deflect them into space. They're natural enemy because it's endless. Yeah, this sounds like a much better book than that Return to World one you told me. I'm, I'm really liking where this is going. We should workshop this. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's been too long since we have remembered our classic generation's ultimate pilgrimage, cotton finding monsters for the first time, and given that world is returning, I think, you know, a natural yearning for a non-fifth generation mind journey is the way to go. And if you would like to do one of these live alongside us, talking back and forth, you can as a patron! And also, as a patron, you can keep us going, which is very much appreciated. It is linked yes, down below, cool. and it is much, much thankly. But for now, big, I cannot thing. remember any of this, which is kind of the point, but here we go. What's better than one round of tentacles? It's, it's two. It's two rounds. Two rounds of tentacles. How many squares of tentacles are there? That's the real question. Is it two rounds of tentacles? <laughs> oh, you actually knew back then. Well, okay. I, I understand the concept of tentacles. I don't think I've ever heard you be so enthusiastic about two rounds of tentacles since this moment. Well, I mean, there hasn't been many opportunities to be. Do you have a llama gun lance? I believe it's a mufa. Oh, yeah, you've got a mufa lance. It's for shooting and stabbing. <laughs> It's too You've heard this creatures. one before! I take it. Oh my god! <laughs> How hilarious is that? That's unbelievable! <laughs> I, what I like about this is how just fixed the faces are in, in pre-5th gen. This excited tentacle-based conversation while I'm just stone-faced, staring into the camera. That's why I'm I'm permanently happy with the face that I chose for Generations Ultimate, because it just displays this perfect, the correct amount of emotion. <laughs> it can be worried, it can be happy, it can be calm, it can be angry. It can be violent. What monster theme is that? <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what that song is called or who sings it. I just know the song. I don't even know what it was from what you just did. Come on, it's really high pitched. Like, how can we... Like, it's, come on. 
if anyone can squeeze out a memory, it's Well, you. the problem is, there's one that I know is very similar. It's not hitting me. Oh, it's the, why don't you like me? Why don't you like me? Why don't you walk out? It's, it's Mika by Grace Kelly. Yeah, I could be brown. I could be blue. I could be violet and sky. I could be hurtful. I could be purple. I could be anything you That's like. That's the only part of the song that I remember anyway, as well. I feel like we got certainly sidetracked. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was very confused by the whole thing. Now we have context. Could we please give your uh, range of face emotions to the tune of, of Grace Kelly by me? Somehow I feel like we can't use this song. Slimy fun today. I mean, enter I title card. <laughs> you can't just yell enter title card and expect tentacles. <laughs> Tentacle. Oh, why did I miss a space after G? Oh, why is there even a dash? Actually, it should just be G rank. I don't know why we're doing G minus rank. G minus rank equals awaits. It's a sheep gun, lads. <laughs> okay. Sheep. Yeah, I didn't. I, didn't, I don't think I knew what a mufa was at that point. <laughs> I've got a world to save. That's incredible! This is not just one set of cruelty. There's two Mufa. I know. For this. This is, I know. I know, man. <laughs> the shield is also another Mufa! Well, yeah, but the one on the disc is actually just really malformed. It's still alive, so I can make sure it feels the pain. <laughs> you are a sick son of a bitch. Ball monsters. <laughs> See, now the smirk face is a lot more sinister. That's what I'm saying. It has so much range. It is quite the range for a still expression. I miss it. It even has the little little coming out of the mouth. A screaming Mufa shield! It's all I've ever wanted! <laughs> oh, Christ. Let's go get violated. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I agree with the goat. By <laughs> Brabeflabum. You know, the Brabeflabum. <laughs> See, I heard by Brabeflabum, which is like a part of the blood, I think. It's like it's like hemoglobin. Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten about by Brabeflabum. What? Oh, the vibrating flag, yes. Yeah! See, you go, you go, and I was saying. So you speak me. Yeah, it happens when I hear it long enough. You're cool right now. You're just there facing against the breeze. I always flag. look cool. Flying. Just give us, give us your thoughts going into this battle. My pink lacy underwear is starting to ride on my crotch. Look, sometimes you ask for things that you don't actually want, and you need to learn that lesson. You still have that little number? Like, you say that like I'm not wearing it every day. <laughs> you say that like it's not my only little number. That's my lucky underwear. I couldn't not wear it. I need new armor. <laughs> Why is this defensive? So, you remember the car cost? Not really. Wiggly, wiggly. God's sake. Not really, I don't know, I haven't paid to fuck I you. mean, to, to be fair, the first Agarcos is very like, I don't know what's happening and now it's over. The blue mucus bone. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! You know, you're a child. How am I a child? You're a ch you know what you did. I don't, I just thought it was a funny statement. It looks the same so far. Oh my god, how did this happen? So, let's let's begin combat. You may you have my permission to, to start hitting oh, it's him. Good. Why did you say that like that? Why did I say it like what? How did this happen? Oh, that was really you. I was 50-50 on if that was real you or, or past you. I'm always real. Good, because I already did. Yeah, no, could I tell you would have been in trouble there otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> They're really appealing, though. They are, sort of. That was such a weird zoom in. Here, silently look at this mucus ball drop. You also moved it, like, perfect, perfectly with the ball, which made it look like the ball was just, like, a picture you edited in, and it was just a moving background. <laughs> like, I know they're technically, like, slime mucus. This might seem out there, but I think when the Gagos does his zip charge forward, he looks like a chariot. What? Because his body is the chariot, and his two tentacles that lead the way are the, the ropey things that attach to the horse. But where are the horses, then? Under under the bones, under the bone, in the bone. Oh, um, got it, okay. But I really... Well, they're just like giant blueberries. <laughs> giant blue... You're a giant bone. 100%. A blue-boned hunter looks like a Willy Wonka punishment. It does, yeah. Like, you ate some chocolate you weren't supposed to, and now you're blue and covered in bones. Like, this 100%. It's just the next evolution of- And you would. You would be the worst at the chocolate factory. Like, you, you wouldn't even get 10 feet down the opening corridor, and before he turns around and you're just like, mm, should I not have eaten that? I wouldn't be eating things, but I'd be, like, pulling random levers and stuff. <laughs> so much worse. Scary. Yeah, he ran over me and both applied the buff and hit me at the same time. How do you- no! <laughs> Incredible. The diverse reaction to that shadow just stood there like, what? This is normal, right? <laughs> A choice there. Save you. Also, since when did you saw 
called a shield? A lot of oh, GU, actually. I expect from you on a daily basis. <laughs> wow. I would not sacrifice you in a, like a, a zombie apocalypse. Well, I'm... Why is there a post insert for this? I'm glad that you've reconsidered since the, since the initial recording. No, actually, you know what? I need to let the people know I would sacrifice him. But you didn't want to tell me, you didn't want to tell me directly. Might. The cow cost is a huge problem because, <laughs> well, you know, you know, Devil Joe. No. <laughs> I. <laughs> I. I... <laughs> Re Reboot. Re what? <laughs> what timeline is this? <laughs> so, <laughs> Devil Joe is a problem because he arrives at a place and just kills and eats fucking everything and it destabilizes the ecosystem. And because he's a dick. And. <laughs> I can't say. You were much like purer in every sense back then. <laughs> and because he's a dick. It's, it's funny. Because he's a dick. Nakakos is that, but in comparison, Devil Joe looks like a kitten. I love blue cotton. So much better than pink cotton. Aha. Uh -huh. why, why would? Why did you roll? Because I don't know how it works. You haven't explained it to me. Yes, you do. You fought him before. You don't. You don't explain things to me, though. Did you bone yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Wouldn't you do it if you had the choice? Ah, <laughs> oh, I forget you were an actual baby during GU. Oh, no, I was. I was like um. 21. That's what I'm saying. That's why that was so, that got such a, <laughs> like, I think the difference between a 21 and a 26 year old is quite stark. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Let me go back. I want to go back, please. Oh, check out. Ah. Hey, hey, man. How are you doing? Also blue. <laughs> oh, no. Why would you roll? Because I like it. <laughs> you know how they, all right, fine. Let's go. Bad of the ball. You should do damage if you if you roll while covered in bones. That's hilarious. I wish we could still use song. The first one was bad to the bone. It's a bone joke. It's a bone joke. Essentially, oh. <laughs> he is. Yeah, his side is a mucus vent. You probably don't want to go. Yeah, see, that. I'm aware of that now. Careful of the huge of the carcass underneath you. Ah! What? Well, you should have warned yourself. It seems he was just with you. Well, he he was when he was above ground. Yeah, so about that. Why would this happen? What are the chances? Now that is irony. You know, I feel like he's bigger all of a sudden. Thanks, Bender, for your words. Real good episode, though. Did they, did the new, new, new series ever happen? I can't, I don't, I never watched it. Yeah, yeah, they released episodes. I didn't watch it yet. Oh, that'll be a good, good series to run to. It's a good thing that we can do in the future, Rama. Oh, uh, what, like between that little dig that he did. Yes. Oh, no, he's bigger. Oh, is he bigger? He's bigger. Oh. That, okay, hello. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. And now he's an actual monster. It is quite the reveal. It does have a little bit of the same energy as Shara's Valda, but a little bit less, where it's like, I don't know what I'm fighting the first time, and then this happens, and you're like, oh. Also, gob is a hilarious word for mouth that I feel like is so weirdly niche. It's, it's a very British term, I think. The sound you make when your mouth is full, but you're trying to talk, you're like, grub, 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 grub. <laughs> hey, I always just sort of, I always just sort of look at tentacle things were his face, yeah, and he just sort of had like and, eyes. Yeah, that's the bait and sweets. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, look, he's like a little cute little bone octopus. He's like a fucking cuttlefish. Oh my God. That's so good. Yeah. He looks so, he's so evilly cute. He's yeah, I stand by that. Oh, okay. It's like a kid in like an undead uh, Halloween costume that's actually scarily accurate. Oh, don't come anywhere near me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mouth though and the teeth. I know. Like, oh my God, that's. Did you just oh, immediately run into his mouth? Yeah, I wanted to know what it was like. You can't even stand here because you I also die. Yeah. it's a weak spot. Tentacle transition. What? I don't know. There isn't a transition happening. No, I think I think it's the tra the tentacle going by, and then there's it's just gonna hard cut. Yeah, they both appear to be doing different things. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Did you not enjoy the tentacle transition? What was it a transition between? <laughs> not a tentacle transition and post tentacle transition. One of them has a rock. The, the oh my god, it's a tetsu capricle. No, no, the left the. <laughs> <laughs> the right one. one of those Tetsu Capricol. I think that's the right name for it. Oh. He uses he uses the bones of those he's killed and adopts their weaponry. Oh my. 
What a cool monster. Yeah. Like, it will never stop being such a fucking cool monster. Like, he has other monster skulls on the ends of tentacles and can use their attacks. But he's also, like, a little kid. <laughs> God, that's amazing. Yeah, right? What do you think now, though? Like, come on. Oh, yeah, no, he's fantastic. Yeah. That's really cool. Fucking Nakaka. Like, even before he started using the heads of other monsters on sticks, which I approve oh of, Oh, my God, way. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he should be, like, one of your spirit monsters. And he's not even in your top ten. You well, it's just the things that I prefer more. It doesn't mean I don't agree with his choice of weaponry. Really? <laughs> he's your spirit animal! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. What? How did I miss? <laughs> right there? I appreciate the heroic effort, though, man. I really do. Thanks. I'm helping. So yeah, this entire time, those were just his tentacles. Oh! But who is that? This? This is the end of the mystery. Well, well. <laughs> 11 out of 10 execution. Basically, rips off scalp. Well, well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. In hindsight, it should have been Nikakos' skull, then Aragon, then Glavinus, then Brachydios, then Nikakos' face. Yeah, it should have just kept going forever. Yeah, I agree. This actually is quite painful. Yep. I'm going to run into his I really... Oh! 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 You know what this reminds me of? The inside of a mouth? Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a bit less cool. Come on, it's still quite cool. The the tone of the moment's a bit different. You know the bit where he, he goes, like, he, he stays on the ship and gets cracking and it goes, yeah, it reminds me of that. Yeah, except that he's, like, sacrificing himself for the survival of others and, like, this, you're just running into his mouth. I mean, when you speak it plainly... <laughs> Oh my god! What's that from again? You know what it really reminds me of? <laughs> yeah, you should pause and let me know in detail what it is. Oh. I tried to run into his mouth and finish it Captain Jack style. Oh my god! But it did not work. Look! Look at his left one. It's poison! No, 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 no! It's poison. Yeah, pile poison. of poison on the floor. Bright green pile of poison. Green poison. Look, no offense to you, but... Young you was a, a moron. I mean, I've I have I have seen a Brachydios for all of about thirty minutes of my life at this point. <laughs> Brachydios slime. Oh, okay. I thought it was poison. No, no, he Brachydios slimes just... it. Oh. How he killed a Brachydios, I don't know, because Brachydios is supreme. He must have just found an already dead one. <laughs> but yeah, he does use. Well, uh... you say that, but it doesn't look like a Brachydios bit. It just looks like he stuck slime on his fucking tentacle. <laughs> it's the pounder. It's a big pounder, but it's a pounder. Oh, his little, his little face is so cute, though. I mean, it's cute until you look into his mouth and see those teeth. No, I still think it's cute. Like, that's still cute to me. All right, you will. You, you're weird. You can have a pet Nakakos and you see don't... how that goes for you. I Turn would me love away. to. I'd never touch it. But... <laughs> when he jumps out, he doesn't. Have you seen that film? Does it sound familiar? I can't remember what film it's from. I just know I've seen it and I remember liking it. All Oliver. It's Oliver. Who's Oliver? Well, you ready for a twist? I accidentally mistyped and it recommended Oliver Full. Mm, Oliver one. Which I just feel like is making like taking the piss out of him. Oliver <laughs> Full. <laughs> As if stuff like a yay! Actually, yeah, like, he, he waves. Just like, yeah! Oh. I get the fight now! Here we go. Oh, um, I can't see anything or move. <laughs> Are you sure your legs aren't broken and you've become blind? It's entirely possible. He is uh That's like red lightning. Okay. What? He's one of the greatest producers of Dragon Element of all the monsters. I love how I say that, like, like he's a, a elder dragon of industry. Like in this region, one of the greatest producers of uh, dragon energy, the Kakos Inc. Just up the road. You see here, he stores the decaying bones of other monsters, from which he can actually directly develop fossil fuels of the dragon type. It really does look like a sea creature. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's nothing gets past you. He would fit in the Rotten Vale, actually. He'd be great in the Rotten Vale. And I'm actually... Oh, imagine the depth. Yeah, the very lowest point of the veil. Like, especially because he's sort of, like, fishy, which is under the Coral Highlands, too. Like, it, it feels like it, that feels good. Even a little disco! That's the hamster dance. You must have seen the hamster dance. Yeah, I, I, I know that. Like, he's he's essentially a... Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God! Look! It's just orbital lasers! Oh, I, I know! I, I understand now! <laughs> you see? 
god! Oh no 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 no! What is happening? What are you doing? What epiphany have you had? I don't know. Your epiphany! You already had it! You had it five years ago! Yeah, it's been five years. You, you know, remember when I asked you how you get <gasps> rainbow dye in this game? Dude! <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Imagine having two precise tentacle lasers of that intensity. Like, you can just control them by whipping them around. Imagine having a tentacle laser. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's like that's like shooting a laser beam out of your the end of your finger. If you had to list the three greatest beams in Monster Hunter, does Nakakos top it? Or can he still not quite compete with the shinier visuals of the like the Safi Jiva laser? I think Shara needs to be in there just because his is so unique. Remember when I asked you how you get rainbow dye in this game and you're like, it's when you finish the story. Now I know why! <laughs> you just steal him! You just take his fucking blood and shove it over you as paint! So now that you've seen the orbital laser and his red beam, this guy oh, is a is so a good. is a distinct major problem because he shoots down airships and kills and eats everyone on board. Yeah, see that that makes sense then. I can get that. Yeah. Look at him. Wait, though, wait so if he was crack. doing that, why did we just think that he was just fucking two headed tentacle monster that doesn't do any lasers? Because it was mis we we only figured this out after this round. It was it was God, what I would give to be able to let the music fly. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> why is that like Hmm. I can't decide whether to make the first laser a funny edit of Austin Powers or an cool. epic edit with slow motion and cool music. Both. Oh, I'll just do both! <laughs> Smashes both buttons with hand. God, it's so You're good. in hyperspace. Definitely still top three. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's a good it's one. Un like, imagine, yeah. like, fifth gen onwards in the car. Imagine this in world's oh, yeah. graphics. You're just in space. Fucking TARDIS gonna fly past in a second. It can fly? Who put Zeno Jiva here? <laughs> Oh yeah, you had preview. Oh, that's that so like weird. Then Jiva came first. Confirmed. <laughs> is that not the coolest beam you ever did saw? That's pretty good. That's his uh, that's his Big Bang piece de resistance attack. Look at that okay. though. Okay. A fucking dragon <laughs> beam. <laughs> so ah. That's what he shoots down <laughs> airships <laughs> with. So good. Who would win a beam battle, the Karkos or Crimson Glow Valstrex's full thruster wing beam? I think the Karkos. Okay, correct answer. I think they're just built for different things, and he has more energy. Then again, I I think dragon beams wouldn't like clash. I think they just pass through each other and hit both. I monsters. mean, it would probably just like build up in the middle and have a big explosion, like Joe Turf War style. It is weird that that happens, given it can happen with Namiel. It's just water. You know, dragon smoke and water. They they collide as physical objects. Like, is that not one of the coolest attacks you've ever seen in Monster Hunter? Yeah, it's pretty good. Like, is that not incredible? <laughs> it does so much damage, though. Like, oh yeah, I imagine that would just kill one me. One of the hardest hitting attacks possible. Uh oh, ooh, ow! Oh my god, he's so good. Ow! Oh no! Then I got. Oh lightnings. yeah, his fourth one's Astalos. I don't want to die. Oh, I died! Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> didn't did die, team. and I'm a bone ball currently. What did I just say? Did he not hear me? I said very specifically that I don't want to die. No, he just he works in opposite day standards. They were like, oh, stop shooting down there. I've not seen that show before. I just find that clip really funny because he's walking away. He's just like, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's actually a really nice guy. He just doesn't understand us. Oh, that's actually a good point. Please say. You're on your own. I'm just, I'm standing still for you. <laughs> no, you're on your own. You gotta run, gotta run. Where is you, he? You think, oh my god, why am I lighting up? There we go. <laughs> Luck. It is the actual coolest. Like, come on. It is very cool. Like, as far as end bosses go, it's so hard to rank end bosses. Like, is this better or worse than Atalkar? Like, how do you make that decision? And they had to top this, and they went with Atalkar, and it's like, yeah, but I don't, yeah. Well, it's just such a different criteria to judge a final boss on as well, because, like, the spectacle is important as, as like, the scale, like, Atalkar feels like a bigger fight, but at the same time, you could argue Nakarkos is more of a spectacle, but Atalkar is also more of, a, like, a proper hunt. Well, Atalkar got the benefit of having normal hunt mode and spectacle mode, and then they rotated between them. That's oh! Okay! But also, I imagine that moment in, like, the Capcom dev table where they're coming up with ideas, someone was signed there, twiddling their pen, all relaxed, and then they just went, THE MONSTER THROWS DRAGONATORS! And everyone just started applauding, stood up, round of just, you know, recorious, amazing. What if she pilots a mech, and they just sort of stared at him for a moment, and, like, made these weird faces, and then all started clapping? <laughs> Oh. Yeah! Oh.
say it one more time! You sound like you've been told a really, like, disturbing, disgusting fact, but you also think it's- I sound like my finger got cut off, but, like, by a unicorn, so I'm sort of, like, in awe of what's happening. <laughs> I hate it when your finger gets cut off by a unicorn, it's just the worst. I know, but like, still the unicorn's there, so it's pretty cool. Aim! No more, though, no more. No, no, stop, no more. You're, you're fired, you're fired. Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is this not, like, Zeno-level visual treat? Like, this surpasses Zeno for me! <laughs> Ooh, hot take, still standing. Yeah, I agree with that. I think Zeno gains a lot from world graphics. Yeah. Yes! I mean, I can see that, to be fair. Like, imagine this whole experience in World's Fidelity. I know! <laughs> like, exactly. would it not look the most glorious thing you've ever fucking seen? This is so good. It's not long until... That... Oh, God, look at it! <laughs> he really is one of my favorites. What? It's like, cut <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden... I can see why. Oh, seven, yeah. Cotton's gone. Orbital laser. <laughs> That's not the Lion King I remember. Oh, orbital laser. <laughs> it's coming down from the sky. Dead sent to Pride Rock. <laughs> Krakos, no, you're not on this track. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not even how it goes. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I guess I'll go somewhere else. If you ever want to have a Lion King movie in the ocean, just give me a call. <laughs> what do you Little mean, Mermaid. movie? I was about to say, it's not just a little moment. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life! No, it's not. It's a Disney movie. It's my life. It's now or never. Oh, Joby, who let you in here? <laughs> What is this pitch meeting? The guy goes Bon Jovi. We're thinking about a new Disney production. <laughs> Look, we, we, we've got some ideas and we need you to help put us together. So we need this weird fish-like thing that does lasers and we want you to do the soundtrack, Bon. Would you be willing to voice the fish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I just love tentacles. <laughs> is, that, is that your Bon Jovi? I have Jovi? no idea what he sounds like or even looks like. <laughs> All I know is his name. Ah, you know, I like tentacles. I oh. like tentacles, man. I'm probably someone. <laughs> I'm probably someone. <laughs> I don't want to die. That's a real existential crisis right there. It now. is. I'm someone, right? <laughs> I'm probably someone. Who cares? <laughs> Can't run straight into his <sighs> maw. This is a bad place to be, man! This is a bad place to be! Decisions have been made! Wow. We're actually doing okay. Yeah, keep fucking his mouth up. There was a moment during that sentence where I could where I could hear you decide to add that last word. <laughs> there is a slightly is just... longer gap between mouth and up than every other word in that sentence. It's the inflection. Like, with the inflection, you can hear that mouth was intended to be the last word, and then it suddenly wasn't. <laughs> I'm glad you said up there. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> With those teeth? Are you fucking metal? Hey, I trust him. Oh my Jesus God. Jesus Christ. You know, a good beat. There you go. Place your bombs. Place your bombs. Bombs. No, right next to the bombs. pearl, you ding dong. Oh, okay. I thought that was as far as we could go up, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's like oh, a wow. super ultra weak, fragile spot. And you place the bombs about eight feet before it. <laughs> Please no safety. Please no safety. Those were separate sentences, as noted by the big space in between. Hey! hey! Oh! He's really cool. I'm watch the death. Or is he just like, oh Jesus? He fires a hail mary beam and it breaks the roof off the cave. You see? Now light is flooding in and everything's falling down, and we can see the sun. Shouldn't I love Should that Nikakos kills himself by trying to do, do a dragon beam when he's too weak like to contain the energy. Oh, to be fair, I think he was sort of dead anyways at that stage. Just falls down into <laughs> yeah. the cave! Like, what the fuck?! Oh my god! <laughs> Just some slag talk having a nice day. Just a herd of aftermath. It is actually a massive hole that's created, so it's quite likely. <laughs> <laughs> Always love a good quartet. Woo.
two, one, go. Yeah, okay, that's similar to the low rank one. It still looks really good, don't get me wrong, but I've seen this, yeah. yeah. Okay, then Astral, yeah. three, two, one, go! Guy, oh, I miss being able to preview full Ooh, armor sets. I like Astral, I do. That's quite like nice, I sort of want to see what other... Oh, wow, the, the gunner version, that's nice. Yeah, it is. Welcome, oh, that's you that. finally made it! Why am I so much taller than you? Now? You're just a bit higher up. Floor of heights. <laughs> I know. Oh, <laughs> <sure. laughs> this this is the Hunter's Pub. Let, let me oh. let me show you around. It sounds much less grandiose than it should. Yeah, this is Hunter's <laughs> Pub. This is a pub. Welcome to the pub. It's it is really a giant cool. ship in a bottle. It is really cool. Look at it go. How, how are you here, honestly? Like, you, how have you even got this far? You're a fucking magpie in armor. Well, well, that's what happens when I see a monster. I do that and then I kill it. Because I want to see what its insides look like. Okay! All right, we should get you out of here now. <laughs> he took a break. <laughs> what? I don't know, we're fighting Diablos. Yeah, now we're fighting Diablos, cool. Why? I, I think it's the next thing that you have to do to unlock G-Rank. <laughs> Diablos is like, what? Hello. Ah, the quest unlock G-Rank is Diablos, so let's it's do it. I remember. Oh my God. You stop, guys, what are you doing? Protect them, protect them. <laughs> He's digging! Look out! So you have to prove that you have legendary skills via killing no. this Diablos. Oh no! Jempre down! Oh no, Jempre! Jempre was fine. No, Jempre up. I do like that. By that, by the way, you meant that I need to prove it. Oh, there you, there you go. There you hit it. Purple. Because I don't think I've noticed them being purple. You ask the they most are. relevant yeah. questions. Legendary it's skills. More legendary skills. Yes, you need to prove that you have them. <laughs> His feet are really bad at touching the ground. <laughs> This is just a weird insult. It's a weird insult to level to someone. Yo, Will, your feet hover. How? Oh my God, you can't say the exact same words. <laughs> oh! Like, actually, have his eyes always been that Oh, shade? my God, it's just an eye shade, man. But they're so bright, though. Like, I can see it always. <laughs> I'm going to see that shit in my sleep. All right. That's not ideal. That was weird. <laughs> that was... I mean, it was weird that we all just fell asleep for the last, like, five seconds. I want to mount this sucker. Nope, never mind. Okay, that's fine. Hermiton, no! You can't see. You don't know what you're getting involved with! Yeah, you see? It's a Diablos! Hermiton, no! Oh, God! Oh, he made a mistake. <laughs> oh, he made a huge mistake. Now I'm going to hit him very hard in the leg, and he's going to fall over! If Mon imagine if Monster Hunter had, like, accurate ragdoll physics, and it just, like, dragged that I crab along content. the floor under his claw. Yeah. Man, he's really bad at the whole standing thing. Well, you know, he's heavy, and he's tired, and he's full of horns. <laughs> he's full of his horns? His internal organs are horns. They're all horns. They're all horns. They're just pure horns filled with hate, filled with more horns. It looks like we're running desperately from a single avatar! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh god! Now we hit him very hard while- <laughs> I don't know why, I just think it's really funny to play an isolated sound file of a Diablo roar <laughs> during a Diablo hunt. It just didn't quite come off as well as I thought it did at the time. <laughs> He's down and defenseless. I've been on it for a bit. Okay. A bit low on the healing front, so I think I might take a break from hitting him for about three seconds. One, two, three. All right, I'm coming back. <laughs> That's your break, by the way. That's your yearly break. Yearly? Yes, you should be lucky at even that, really. Damn it. Oh, apparently oh. I was low. Ooh. Why am I dead? Yeah, maybe you should have taken another yearly break. I should have taken another yearly break. Why was I low? I've not been... Like, what? I don't understand. I've just been solidly beating know. on him this entire zone. I would I would say, did you have a cool drink? Oh! Yeah, that's the, I am that's a trash... Yep, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. I'm a forgetful moron, and I'm so sorry. Did I just say I am a trash bag forgetful moron? Uh, yeah, that's the one. That's what you said. Trash bag forgetful moron? It's me, the trash bag forgetful moron. What was I doing again? Eventually. Just gonna use the, uh, it's like one of those walkways. Yes, yeah, it's <laughs> like an airport. In airports, yeah. <laughs> careful, man, though, it's careful. Careful, it's, it's dangerous. If you saw someone standing on one of those like this, <laughs> then... <laughs> it's they're looking behind them. That is the definition of, if you see anything suspicious, please report it, and we'll handle the rest. Thank you. Well, no, because if I saw that, I, I would just think, that person's never seen a travelator before. <laughs> cool. Oh, oh, God, for them. Oh, guys, it's oh, moving. Oh, Why does oh, no one oh, else care? Oh, the oh, fort oh, is oh, moving. Oh, 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 o
It does sort of look like monkeys have found their way along to a travel yeah, like, we have oh, full oh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we're just doing a monkey impression. <laughs> God damn it. I said by it. Okay, we're here. <laughs> Why is it that airport announcements always sound 50-50 between someone who's really friendly and potentially a sociopath? I think they just want to put the least amount of effort into it possible to avoid upsetting the people who've missed their flights and had delays. <laughs> Thanks for the ride! <laughs> oh, I'm not in Valor mode. Oh, okay, hello. Alright, hello, Mr. Diablos! Ow, buddy! Ah, ow! Why do you hate me? Because you think his eyes are pink, and he's like, No, they're not! They are! They're evil and angry and cool! Boom! Oh, ow. That really hurt. Oh, no, I might be dead. Nice. No, you're good. Oh, no, I'm oh. Careful, though. It was my heartbeat all along. Yeah, no. <laughs> God damn it. Look, I wasn't even the first one to die. Yeah, right, I bet you were. I was two out of three, so I bet the one out of three was well, you. Well, I was three out of three. <laughs> Disappointed! I do have a present for you to, to uh, welcome you to the Hunter's Pub and... Make you feel a bit better, though. Okay. Hits. Did we just not do it again? Yeah, I mean, it seems reasonable. It's only something that's necessary to be completed. But instead, we're doing Tiny Gameth. I do prefer Tiny Gameth, to be fair. Tiny Gameth is one of the most incredible event quests of all time. Completely forgot this exists. The load of cats! Yay! My favorite. Ah! There you go! <laughs> the little stops in the distance. <laughs> like, wait, it's the size of a Kirin. That's what it is. It looks so funky. <laughs> oh, is it so good? It's a baby elephant. Like I just, I just love it when they make monsters comically the wrong size. Yeah, <laughs> it's always good. It's pull us like twenty feet in front of her. <laughs> Oh god! <sighs> so this is Tiny Gamma. <laughs> Just one big this hitbox. Best one, two, three. I wish I could leave that in. That was so perfect for that moment. I don't even know what that is. Jungle Book, when the elephants are marching and they're just crushing over everything and they've got the little I song. I haven't seen Jungle Book since I was like eight. Oh. Stop! Why is it still going? <laughs> yeah, this should not still be happening. Baby Gamma, please! Ooh, look out! She's dangerous! Why, baby Gavin? Wait, what? Wait, what, what wait! Doing? No, no, wait, you are you going? It's <laughs> so good, the sped up animations! <laughs> yeah. Where are you going? Go, 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 If only we had some anti-dragon bombs. Josh. Josh, the back of her skull smells really nice. <laughs> I can't put that in the hunt report, man. You need to put it down. Someone needs to know this. Back I mean, of skull it down. smells good. Aw, that's so mean. Well, I like she shouldn't it. have been alive, should she? <laughs> she should have been alive. Yeah, that, that's pretty mean, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it looks so funny with the full-size hunters there. That's so very, very sad. <laughs> oh, I wish that sad music could be used as well, because it's awesome. Yeah, it's good sad music. Apply. That's your one chance at G-Rank, and it's just gone. You get like once a month. So you're saying this is the end of Proob? Yeah, like that's just it. That's the end of the series. All right, series over. Yeah, Bye, okay. guys. Pub manager. <laughs> All right, I mean, I guess I would say do your thing, but there's only technically one new monster, so do your thing! Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, well, in last- I think that might have been the first time we called the series by that short shorthand in front of other people. I was about, yeah, yeah, I was thinking that. I was like, what? It, we don't utter that publicly. That was, that was, yeah, that was always something that we said, and, like, other people, like, caught on to it at some point. I was just like, when did that happen? When did we say this out loud to people? This place is Nakarkas. <laughs> 
who I'm still not sure if he's if he's clutch favorite yet, but he's definitely second favorite monster. Um, wow. Yeah, I quite like him in GU. Cute squid evil. Cute squid evil. <laughs> Squeevil. Evil. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. G rank achieved. And all your favorite monsters coming up as we experience, well, essentially, literally everything. Like, all, every, all of it. Like, and not yet, everything. just so. It's gonna There's be just juicy. so many things. Like, if you enjoyed this, subscribe so for juicy. more. So juicy. A good boy. <laughs> so there you have it, everybody. Some generations ultimate remember it. Back to G-Ranker it. And it was good. It was very good. But with like G, G spelled G-U-D. Yes. 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 That's the most expressive, um, lovely time I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you for joining this. Subscribe to the bell for more. Consider supporting the Futures channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good Bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye